All right, in this video we're going to talk about another conic section called the parabola. All right, so here's the definition. A parabola is a set of points in the plane that are equidistant from a fixed point. And this point is going to be called the focus in a fixed line, which is called the directrix. All right, so here is parabola with vertex at the origin. So the focus is actually inside your parabola. I'm just going to put a point here. We're going to call this F. All right, so here we're going to have the focus, and this line down here is called the directrix. All right, so this distance here and this distance here are to be the same distance. You know, from this point, the vertex, from this point to the focus, that distance is the same as from this point, the vertex, down to this point on your line. We're going to call that distance C. So now if you take any point on your graph, say like this point right here, let's take that point, we're going to call it point P, we're going to give it a name XY. So the distance that this point is on our parabola to the focus and the distance from this point on our parabola down here to the directrix, they are to be equal. No, it doesn't look like that from my graph here because I'm just drawing a parabola freehand here. And what that means is I don't have the focus of the directrix in the right place. So this distance and this distance have to be the same. All right, so the vertex is the origin, 0, 0. F, the focus, well, 0, comma C would be that ordered pair. Everybody agree? And then this point down here on the directrix, we'll call it D for directrix, is going to be the point X, comma, negative C. Everybody agree with that? You go over X and down negative C. So these are the three points that we have. The distance between point P and F are to be equal to the distance between point P and D. This little D just means the distance between these two points. So everybody see that? This distance here is equal to this distance here. All right, so how do you find the distance between point P and point F? Well, you use the distance formula, right? So this distance is to equal this distance. So you just have this equation to solve. So squaring both sides gets rid of the square roots. x minus 0 squared is just going to be x squared. y minus c squared goes to y squared minus 2cy plus c squared, right, equals x minus x goes to 0. So you're just left with y plus c squared, which is y squared plus 2cy plus c squared. So now we're just going to get x squared by itself. So what does that mean? Well, we see the y squareds go away. We see the c squareds go away. And so you're just left with x squared equals 4cy. That is the standard form for a parabola with the vertex at the origin. Right? If you know what the, the c value is, the distance from the vertex out to the focus, you know that distance there, then we automatically know what the equation of the parabola has to be. Right. I'm also going to throw in one other thing. I'm going to say you could write it the following way. You could take this equation and isolate y. So y would be 1 over 4c times x squared. Either one of these forms. Because I typically like to have y isolated, y in terms of x squared as opposed to having x squared in terms of y. Right. But you need to be able to go between, between both of them. All right, so this is the derivation of our, um, of our equation for a parabola with the uh, vertex at the origin. And notice this parabola opens up. Right? So it's got this axis of symmetry, which is the y-axis here. Um, and you're probably familiar with those. But there are also parabolas that open on their side, right? So they could open right or open left. And they would have a horizontal axis of symmetry. So parabolas that open up or down have a vertical axis of symmetry. Parabolas that open right or left have a horizontal axis of symmetry. Uh, and for the parabolas that open right or left, their equation is slightly different. But I'll show you that in just a second. So here is the definition of a parabola with a vertical axis of symmetry. The equation of a parabola with vertex 0, 0, so again, we're just keeping the vertex at the origin. Focus is going to be the point 0, comma c, and the directrix is the line y equals negative c, is x squared equals 4cy, or, as we just said a second ago, y equals 1 over 4c times x squared has a vertical axis, and that vertical axis is the y-axis, so the line x equals 0. Our parabola opens up if your c value is greater than 0, and our parabola opens down if our c value is less than 0. 
So now for the ones that open right or left, so the uh, parabola with a horizontal axis of symmetry uh, has uh, for an equation of a parabola with vertex at the origin and focus now c comma zero because everybody with me you'd be going here's the here's the vertex you'd be going at here would be the focus right so that would be the c value then we get this equation y squared equals four cx or x equals one over four c times y squared. We didn't derive this one. It's the same derivation. We just move it on its side. So I'll leave that for you guys to figure out. So for parabolas that open right or left, um, then notice that the y is squared and x is not squared. So it's x equals y squared. Whereas the ones for the vertical axis, you had x squared. You know, y equals x squared. And that's kind of how I remember it. If you have y equals x squared, then you have a parabola that opens up or down. If you have x equals y squared, then you've got a parabola that opens right or left. Right, and the uh, the axis of symmetry for parabolas that open right or left is uh, y equals zero for the ones where the vertex is at the origin. The parabola opens right if your c value is greater than zero, and your opens left if the c value is less than zero. All right, so here's an example. All right, so find the vertex focus directrix and axis of symmetry for the following. All right, so take our equation x squared equals 20y here. You might also see it written as 1 over 20 times x squared. We're just more comfortable and more familiar with isolating y, having y isolated as opposed to having the x squared isolated. But it doesn't really matter. All right? So the point is now we want to figure out what the c value is. All right? So well, from our from our standard form, we know that y equals 1 over 4c times x squared. So the coefficient of x squared is 1 over 4c. So back here, our coefficient is 1 over 20. So that means 1 over 4c has to equal 1 over 20. And that implies that c has to equal 5. Since c is positive, we know this thing opens up. Vertex is at the origin. Focus is 0, 5. Directrix is y equals negative 5. And the axis of symmetry is x equals 0. Everybody see that? As soon as you know what the c value is, then we can find all this information out pretty fast. So this one we could have it as x equals negative um, 2 times y squared. It's like the x, you have x equals y squared. So now we're going to open right or left. Everybody see that? Because it's x equals y squared. So 1 over 4c, again, is equal to negative 2. So that implies that c is equal to what? Negative 1 eighth. So we know that it's going to open, since c is negative, this thing's going to open left. Since it was x equals y squared, we're opening right or left. We know the vertex is the origin. We know the focus. Well, we're opening left. So the x value is what we add to here. So we have negative 1 eighth comma 0 would be where the focus is located. Because the focus is always inside the parabola. The directrix, okay, so this time it's going to be a vertical line. So it's x equals 1 eighth. And then the axis of symmetry is y equals 0 because it's a parabola that opens right or left so the axis of symmetry is a horizontal line in this case it's the x-axis. So now what if we wanted to find the equation of a parabola with focus 0, negative 3 uh, and the vertex was located at the origin? We know then that f equals 0, negative 3 f for focus vertex is 0, 0. What's the axis? Which way does it open? So you kind of say, all right, here's the vertex, 0, 0, and the focus would be 0, negative 3 down here, so it's going to open down. Right? So it's got a vertical axis of symmetry. Uh, the equation's y equals um, 1 over 4c times x squared. So the question is, what's c? So if we knew the value for c, we'd have the equation for our, for our parabola. Well, what's c? c is the distance between the vertex and the focus. Right, so if this is the vertex and this is the focus, this distance here is c, and since we're going down, c is negative 3. Therefore, the equation is y equals, plug in your negative 3, and you get negative 1 12th times x squared. And that is the equation of your parabola. So this, this whole video has been on parabolas where the vertex is at the origin. In the next video, we're going to move the vertex where it's not at the origin, and we'll have a more standard form for the equations of our parabolas. All right? Uh, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.